Hello everyone, welcome to Spec eLearn, the online learning channel dedicated to chemical engineers. Chemical process safety. Nitrogen blanketing system for storage vessels. In this video course, you will learn why is nitrogen blanketing needed? What is the design basis of nitrogen blanketing? What are the sources of nitrogen supply? Nitrogen blanketing methods in chemical process plants. Please subscribe to the channel. By subscribing, you will motivate us to produce knowledgeable video content for you. So subscribe now before you forget. Nitrogen blanketing is one of the commonly followed safeguarding philosophy in chemical process plants to mitigate the risk arising from storage of hazardous liquids in storage tanks. Several hydrocarbons and petrochemical products are stored at atmospheric temperature. The vapor pressure at ambient temperatures of the stored products are typically very high and in many cases equal to or close to atmospheric pressure. Before I get into the video subject matter, I would like to make an important announcement to my dear viewers. Your Spec Elan channel has started a new initiative called Channel Membership. The members joining the channel will get exclusive perks which include members only videos and question and answers with priority on the published video content specially designed for your career advancement. An opportunity to learn skills and knowledge which are difficult to get or you will take years to learn otherwise in the workplace. Join now and support us. Click on the link given in the description below to join the channel. Thus the vapor in the vapor space of the storage vessels has high composition of the product stored as shown in the figure below. Increase of air into the vessel during maintenance or startup or breathing can cause the air vapor mixer concentration to reach the flammable limit. Hence, storage of such liquids presents a potential safety hazard. Ignition of air supply mixers and subsequent explosion in a confined space may lead to failure of any part of this equipment and piping. Such incidents have potential to release the hazardous liquids to atmosphere that can result in fire, human injury, fatality and cause serious environmental issues. Not only from the safety point of view, but also from product quality point of view, nitrogen blanketing has proved to be a significant process step in pharmaceutical and food and flavor industries. The benefits include keeping the product moisture under control, preventing contamination and degradation, and preserving the product water. Shown in the figure above is a stainless steel storage tank used for storing monopropylene glycol, a petrochemical product used in food and flavor and pharmaceutical industry. Moisture and color are sensitive specification parameters of the product. But it is stored in the tank shown above, then breathing in of air and moisture during filling and emptying operations as well as changes in ambient temperature will cause the product quality to be affected. The process safety and quality issues explained above can be addressed by use of nitrogen blanketing. Process design of chemical process plant takes into consideration the safety and quality aspect driven nitrogen blanketing requirement right in the design stage. Nitrogen blanketing scheme design basis. Having understood the importance and benefits of nitrogen blanketing, how will you select the blanketing method? The method or scheme to be selected depends on the application. It is the process considerations that drives the selection of the most appropriate method, safety or quality. This is a chemical process safety related video, hence focuses on 
safety aspects of nitrogen blanketing in detail. I will touch upon the quality aspects very briefly for those who may be interested. Process safety considerations. Chemical products including petroleum and petrochemical products are broadly classified into flammable and combustible. This classification is based on the flash point of the liquid. Flash point is the lowest temperature of the liquid at which the vapors formed will be sufficient enough to form flammable mixture with the air. This figure below presents the flash point temperature based classification of flammable liquids as per NFPA 30 code. According to this classification, any hydrocarbon liquids having flash point up to temperature 31.8 degrees centigrade fall into flammable liquid. As per the figure shown, class 1 liquids are flammable. Note, there are three types of class 1 liquid. Class 1A, class 1B, class 1C based on the temperature ranges shown. The table below shows the flash point and boiling points of some of the hydrocarbon and petrochemicals. Based on the flash points, all are class 1 chemicals. Xylene belongs to class 1C, acetone belongs to class 1B, and pentane, propylene oxide and ethylene oxide belong to class 1A. Hence all these products are flammable liquids and storage of the liquid present considerable safety risk. In all the storage tanks containing flammable liquids, the vapor space in the tank is filled with this vapor. The composition of vapor is in equilibrium with the liquid in the tank. In unprotected tanks, the breathing in will cause air to come into the tank and breathing out will cause the flammable gases to escape into atmosphere. In either case, flammable vapor is allowed to mix with air, creating potentially unsafe conditions. Even accumulated static charges in the tank is sufficient enough to ignite the air vapor mixer in the tank and cause an explosion. Hence, it is important from the safety point of view to ensure the vapor is not allowed to ignite. Well, how will it will create a non flammable atmosphere within the tank as well as outside the tank? To develop a scheme, understand first how flame or the fire is produced. Shown below is a fire triangle. It shows to produce fire, three elements are needed combustibles, oxygen, and heat. If any one of the three elements are eliminated, the fire can be stopped. The storage tank contains flammable liquid, which is a fuel. The fuel cannot be eliminated. Heat can be transferred from a high temperature source from the surrounding or static electricity in the tank. Hence, heat also cannot always be eliminated. What can be controlled is oxygen. By controlling oxygen content in the tank such that it is below a certain threshold level, the fire or ignition can be prevented. This threshold value of oxygen content is called limiting oxygen concentration called LOC. So what is limiting oxygen concentration? Limiting oxygen concentration LOC is defined as a limiting concentration of oxygen in the gas-air mixer below which the combustion is not possible, independent of the concentration of the fuel. It is expressed in percentage water to volume B volume. It depends on the type of gas handled and is also a function of pressure and temperature. Shown in the table below is the LOC of some of the hydrocarbon and petrochemical products. Acetone has LOC of 10% with nitrogen. Likewise, pentane and propylene oxide have LOC of 10.8% and 5.8% respectively. 
the values of LOC are available with the National Pipe Protection Association gain. As a rough estimate, LOC is approximately equal to lower explosive limit LEL. With LEL concentration, you can obtain the stoichiometric oxygen required for complete combustion of the gas. The LOC in a storage tank can be achieved by admitting into the vapor space an inert gas. The inert gas may be nitrogen or carbon dioxide. In chemical process industries, nitrogen is usually the inert gas used. It acts as a diluent to reduce the concentration of oxygen. If you have, for example, propylene oxide stored in a tank at ambient temperature as shown below, the vapor space will have a mixture of PO and air and may be in the flammable range. LOC in PO air mixture is 5.8% volume by volume at ambient temperature. By adding nitrogen into the tank till the oxygen concentration is less than 5.8%, the mixture can be made non flammable. This concept of nitrogen blanketing has been widely used in chemical process industries for storing flammable products. Before we move on, I would like to make a call to my dear viewers. Your SPEC eLearn channel is one-stop learning and skill development destination for your career needs. Get instant access to useful career-oriented subjects and become knowledgeable and competent. So do not forget to subscribe. Please press the subscribe button now. Sources of Nitrogen Have you understood the benefits of nitrogen blanketing for reducing the safety risk associated with the storage of flammable liquids? Let us move on to find out how nitrogen can be made available in chemical process plants for blanketing purpose. There are three sources of nitrogen supplied to the process plants. One, in-house nitrogen production plants. Two, pipeline supply of nitrogen gas by third party. Three, use of site-based dedicated third party installed nitrogen storage tanks with vaporizers. Three technologies are commonly used to produce nitrogen having purity of greater than 89%. They are 1. Membrane separation technology 2. Pressure swing adsorption 3. Cryogenic air separation Reliability of the nitrogen supply is very critical to ensure safety of the flammable liquid storage vessels. From this point of view, backup supply is needed in case of membrane separation and third party nitrogen supply through pipeline. The usual backup arrangement is a liquid nitrogen storage tank installed by third party or nitrogen packs. Shown in the figure below is a nitrogen supply scheme for blanketing as well as for other utility services. Observe there are three sources of supply. The purity of the nitrogen is an important factor is usually greater than 89% which is fit for all applications. Nitrogen blanketing methods. Two methods are commonly used. One, pressure control with nitrogen. Two, nitrogen flow by oxygen measurement. Pressure control is the most commonly used in chemical processing plants. We will discuss the pressure control scheme in detail. Shown in the figure below is a nitrogen blanketing scheme PNID for flammable liquid storage tank. The tank is used to store propylene oxide, a petrochemical product, at ambient temperature at a pressure of 1.5 bar G. PO is highly flammable the flash point being minus 37 degrees centigrade and it can carry a very high risk from ignition point of view. The LOC of PO with nitrogen is 5.8%. The tank is safeguarded by nitrogen blanketing system. Nitrogen having a purity of 99.5% volume by volume is admitted into the tank in the vapor space through a control valve. 
Pressure controller PIC maintains the pressure in the tank at 1.5 bar G. A vent valve releases the pressure if the pressure exceeds 1.5 bar G. It is a split range control scheme. The blanketing nitrogen control scheme ensures that oxygen content in the tank vapor space is always less than LOC, thus safeguarding the storage tank against any safety risk. Nitrogen Availability and Additional Safeguarding System and SAS The availability of nitrogen for blanketing scheme is an important criteria for development of additional safeguarding system. The failure of nitrogen supply creates a safety risk. Hence, availability must be greater than or equal to 98%. This is achieved by backup arrangements such as nitrogen packs or third party supplied liquid nitrogen storage tank with vaporizer. If this cannot be achieved, additional safeguarding measures such as fireproofing, sprinkler system and SIS must be considered. Nitrogen quantity required The quantity of nitrogen required for blanketing the tank is an important design parameter to estimate the size of the in-house nitrogen generation plant or quantity of nitrogen to be sourced from third party. Nitrogen requirement depends on two factors. One, the product flow from the tank. This is the net quantity of liquid product flow out of the tank in meter cube per hour. Two, the variation of ambient temperature conditions. Q1 is decided by the process requirement. Q2 is determined from the changes in ambient temperature, the tank volume and average tank level. The total quantity is Q1 plus Q2. Blanketing scheme for quality. The nitrogen blanketing scheme for quality is similar to that for safety. Shown in the figure below is a product storage tank fitted with a self-regulating PRV for nitrogen supply to the tank for blanketing when the tank level drops during tanker loading or emptying and when PSV to win the gas from the tank when the tank level rises during filling. This method ensures that the tank vapor space is filled with inert atmosphere to maintain the quality of the stored product. Please subscribe to our channel and get updates on the upcoming courses by pressing the subscribe button. It will motivate us to produce free knowledge rich video content for you. With this we have come to the end of the presentation. Please give your comments if any about this course after you finished viewing this video. Share with your friends and colleagues to reach out to large number of career-oriented professional students. Thank you for watching.